the top teams in the state right now is Clay Chalkville, and tonight was a challenge in 6A for them. A battle of the unbeatens with the Cougars facing the center point Eagles. Let's get to those highlights. Clay Chalkville running out with all the hopes of getting another win tonight. Fourth and goal here for center point, and Jabari Collier was able to get in for the touchdown center point, leading 7 to nothing at this point. Clay Chalkville answers back, though, when Kamari McClellan finds Jalen Bakwi for the 18-yard touchdown failed extra point. Center point leads 7-6. But next drive for Clay Chalkville, Kamari McClellan hits Mario Craver for a 35-yard score. That puts them up 12-7, another failed extra point. But the Cougars go on to win big, 56-19 the final. Now over to Carver versus John Carroll. We're going to start this one off with a little cheerleaders giving their spirit here ahead of the game. Javaris Wade, though, hits Jamari Owens for a touchdown. Beautiful pass and catch there. The Carver defense, though, is going to be doing big things in this one. But first, we got John Carroll getting in on some scoring action. So they hope, but they don't because it's a sack for number three. Carver all over on that side of the ball as they go on a win by a slim 20 to 14. Now to Coach Carson after this one. That's what I tell them all the time. Like, you got to have program changing moments. When you can win a game in the last seconds or keep a lead, those are program moments. And that was a program moment at the end of the game. We love to see you, Coach. Well, some more scores for you. Aniata taking on Fultondale here. Aniata's second play from scrimmage. That's where we're going to start the action. Landon Abernethy hands off to Demarion Bothwell. We call him Fluff, who rips off a 75-yard touchdown run. This kid putting up the stats each week. Aniata up quickly, 7 to nothing with that quick speed there. But their defense too much for Fultondale. Darius Davis sacked for a loss here by Josiah Coover. The Redskins' next possession, running back to Mariam Bothwell for another score. This one, just 25 yards, but give the kid a break. Aniata wins 51-13, to the final. Taking a look at some more scores around the region, Kalira wins 38-14, to while the Homewood Patriots get another dub, 31-24, to the final. Then we have Pinson Valley, no problem there with Oxford on the road, and Aniston all over the White Plains.